In The Case of the Buried Clock, Rose Stanley Gardner crafts a complex and intriguing mystery that is emblematic of his Perry Mason series. The story revolves around the murder of banker Vincent Blaine, whose body is discovered alongside a buried clock, a seemingly insignificant detail that becomes a crucial element in the unraveling of the case. Gardner's narrative technique, marked by rapid pacing and a focus on legal intricacies, propels the reader through a maze of deception, red herrings, and unexpected twists. Perry Mason, the shrewd defense attorney, is called upon to represent Jerry Templer, who is accused of murdering Blaine. Templer's wife, Sylvia, plays a pivotal role in the narrative, her actions and motivations shrouded in ambiguity. Gardner effectively uses Sylvia's character to keep both Mason and the reader guessing, blurring the lines between victim and perpetrator. The buried clock, a seemingly trivial object, is introduced early in the story, its significance only fully realized as Mason delves deeper into the case. Gardner's choice to use the clock as a symbol of time and deception underscores the novel's exploration of how appearances can be manipulated to create false narratives. Mason's investigation is characterized by his methodical approach to uncovering the truth, relying not just on legal expertise but also on his ability to understand human nature. Gardner's portrayal of Mason as a relentless advocate for justice, willing to bend the rules when necessary, adds a layer of moral complexity to the story. Mason's interactions with law enforcement, particularly with his frequent adversary, Lt. Tragg, highlight the tension between legal procedure and the pursuit of justice. Gardner uses these interactions to critique the rigidity of the legal system, suggesting that true justice often requires a more flexible approach. The courtroom scenes in The Case of the Buried Clock are particularly noteworthy, showcasing Gardner's skill in building suspense and drama. Mason's cross-examinations are crafted with precision, revealing his ability to manipulate the narrative in favor of his client. These scenes serve as a battleground where Mason's intellect and legal acumen are on full display, turning the courtroom into a stage for his strategic maneuvers. Gardner's background as a lawyer is evident in these passages, as he meticulously constructs legal arguments that are both convincing and engaging. The novel also delves into the theme of appearances versus reality, a recurring motif in Gardner's work. The buried clock, a hidden and seemingly inconsequential item, represents the idea that truth is often concealed beneath layers of deceit. Gardner challenges the reader to question their assumptions, as the plot twists reveal the true nature of the characters and their motivations. This theme is reinforced by the portrayal of the Templars, whose outwardly respectable facade masks a web of secrets and lies. Gardner's writing style, characterized by crisp dialogue and a fast-paced narrative, keeps the reader engaged from start to finish. His use of legal jargon is balanced by clear explanations, making the story accessible to those unfamiliar with the intricacies of the law. The novel's structure, with its tight plotting and well-timed revelations, ensures that the mystery remains compelling throughout. The Case of the Buried Clock is a testament to Gardner's ability to craft a gripping legal thriller that challenges the reader to think critically about justice and the nature of truth. Through Perry Mason's relentless pursuit of the truth, Gardner explores the complexities of the legal system and the moral ambiguities that often accompany it. The novel's enduring appeal lies in its ability to balance the demands of a traditional mystery with deeper reflections on justice and the human condition.